Good morning. Welcome back to Vlogmas number six. It's currently Sunday morning and I am getting ready because I need to do a little bit of filming and then I have plans with my friends later today. But I'm feeling so much better. In the last couple of vlogs, my sleep schedule was really thrown off and I was just feeling so tired and waking up late every day. But if you saw the last vlog, I did my little self-care routine last night and just stayed in and I didn't really get the best sleep to be honest, but I woke up at 8.30, which isn't bad for my day off and I feel really good and refreshed. So I'm hoping I will keep feeling good the rest of this week because it is crunch time, baby. One week from today, I am driving up to Pennsylvania to go stay with my family for Christmas. And I just feel like I have a lot to do. It's just crazy to me that we're here already. It feels like Thanksgiving was just last week. And now Christmas is already two weeks away. It is an hour or so later. I just finished filming, so now I have three hair videos that are done and ready to be edited. But as I was in the middle of filming the last video, cause I've just been standing in front of this window using natural light and it just got so dark out and it's raining and windy and gross. So yeah, needless to say, it's just a gross day. So I do have plans with my friends later, like I said, but that's not gonna be until later this evening. It's only 12.30 now, so. I think I'm just going to enjoy the rest of my afternoon off and watch a movie. There's a couple movies on Netflix that have looked interesting that I've been wanting to see, so. I'm just gonna snuggle up on the couch with my dog. I'll check in later. It's a couple hours later. I have just been chilling. It's been such a nice day and I have the balcony door cracked and it's just been raining all day and it's been so cozy. And I was watching the new movie on Netflix, Leave the World Behind. I have 10 minutes left. It's okay, I just feel like it's an almost two and a half hour long movie and I feel like nothing has really happened. But I decided to treat myself and get delivery so I got Indian food because it's just one of those days, you know? So I got some chicken tikka masala with basmati rice and garlic naan. Mmm, I love Indian food and I haven't had it in a while. And I don't know if I'm still gonna end up doing anything with my friends. Our plan was to go to this Christmas lights show. I've never been before, but it's like this really popular thing in town um, and you like walk through this park and there's just like a bunch of Christmas light displays but because it's still raining, I don't know if we're gonna end up going. It's a rain or shine thing, but to be determined on that. For now, I am just going to enjoy my dinner, finish this movie, maybe start another one. It's kind of starting to slow down now, but it was absolutely pouring. I just decided to stay home because I was like, I don't wanna drive in that or have to walk around in that. I took Benny out really quick to let him pee and we got soaked. So poor little guy, he is under here. I have him wrapped in a towel and under all these blankets cause he was soaking wet and cold. So yeah, I'm just gonna stay in the rest of the night. It's almost seven o'clock and it's just been the best day. I have just been watching Netflix movie after movie. Now I'm watching Fair Play, and I don't know, it's all right so far, I'm like 40 minutes in. The other movie, the ending, literally right when I recorded, I was like, oh, there's 10 minutes left. There was like two minutes, not even, the rest of it was all credits, so nothing ended up happening, so I wouldn't recommend watching it. It was kind of a waste of time, but that's gonna be it for tonight, so I will see you in the morning. Good morning. 
it is the next day getting ready to go out it is freezing outside today and it's crazy i mean i'm not surprised because the storm that passed through last night oh my god i kept waking up in the middle of the night because the thunder was so loud. But there is a new coffee bar. My friend Haley and I are meeting up there. We're gonna bring our computers and get some work done. So I just put a little bit of under eye concealer, the Tarte Shape Tape Radiant, then Rare Beauty Liquid Blush, Got to be clear brow gel, tiny bit of Thrive Cosmetics mascara. This portion of the vlog is sponsored by Dossier. Thank you so much to them. I've been working with them for many years, as a lot of you guys know if you've been watching me for a while. I mean, they are one of my tried and true OG brands that I literally, I mean, look at my, look at my perfumes on my dresser. It just doesn't make sense to me to pay full price for a designer fragrance just to get it in a different bottle when I can get the exact same thing in just simpler, more sleek, in my opinion, packaging for a fraction of the price. So if you're unfamiliar with Dossier, their mission is to make luxurious fragrances accessible and more affordable. So they make replicas of well-known brand name scents and you're getting the exact same thing, same high quality, just in simpler packaging, with a different name on the bottle. My favorite, as you guys know, I've been trying, like there's other scents that I really like, but there's just something about this one that like, this just smells like me. This has been my go-to everyday scent for over two years now. This is the Ambery Saffron, which is a replica of the Baccarat Rouge 540. If you're familiar with that perfume, it is a couple hundred dollars just for a bottle. This one from Dossier is 49. And their fragrances start at $29. And their perfumes make for a really great gift. I gift these bottles a lot. They also now have candles and rediffusers, which also smell amazing and they have very similar sleek packaging like this so get it for yourself or if you're looking for a last minute gift they have a really good sale going on right now so i'll have a link in the description go check that out so yeah ambery saffron my go-to scent and then what i like to do most days too is i will layer it with the victoria's secret tease cream cloud body spray i keep a small size of this in my car too and like this mixed on top with the ambery saffron is the most delicious scent of course we said we were gonna meet there at 10 30 and it's 10 15 and she already is there <laughs> she, she got us a table so let me grab my stuff and get out of here i'm just wearing a really comfy cozy outfit i got my sweats sneakers and this really soft warm sherpa like cropped pullover half zip kind of thing from Airy and this pea coat from Altered State. I'm gonna head to the coffee shop now. I will see you there. home oh my god these sunglasses keep getting tangled in my hair i was not a very good vlogger today because after the coffee shop well while we were there we were talking honestly i feel like every time she and i say like oh let's go to a coffee shop and bring our computers and we'll get work done we never end up getting much work done because we just end up talking and catching up on things and then we're like oh let's do this and let's do that and we were talking about christmas shopping so we went to a few different places we went to sephora they were like wiped clean there was nothing there um and then we ended up going to ulta and salon centric so let me do a little haul and show you the stuff i got the tarte maracuja Juicy Lip Plump. I got the NYX 
brow glue because I'm starting to run low on my clear brow gel and I really like the got to be one but you can only get it on Amazon and this one was super cheap and I've heard good things about it so I thought why not try it then i also got the tartlet tubing mascara because i've been using the thrive cosmetics mascara which is also a tubing one like the liquid lash extensions it doesn't smudge it just like slides right off your lashes it's really cool it dries down like it goes on like regular mascara but then it dries down to almost like a latex like it kind of reminds me of eyelash glue but not sticky I don't know it's great I love it and I've been using that one for several months and I'm starting to run low on it but again that one you can only order online from Thrive's website and then when I saw Tarte came out with one I've heard good things about this one so I was like perfect and it's like the same price as the other one but I can buy it in store I'm excited to try that and then I got the Eco Tools makeup brush and sponge shampoo because normally when i wash my makeup brushes i use dish soap but i feel like that can be kind of drying so i don't know figured i would try this because i do need to wash my makeup brushes so maybe we'll do that together later then from salon centric they had 20 percent off everything which i didn't even realize so that's pretty amazing so i just stocked up on a couple things that i needed for the salon so I got some more duck clips. These are great if I am setting someone's curls or if I'm putting someone's hair in rollers when I'm doing like a bouncy blowout. Then I also got this Cricut comb. I used to have this exact one and I don't know what ended up happening to it. I really like this for blending color. Like if I'm doing a root color on somebody or I'm doing a low light, but I'm not bringing it all the way down to the ends. I like this to brush through to kind of blend it out without pulling the color all the way down. Then I got another pack, because I didn't realize how cheap these are. This also was like two bucks for a two pack of extra long rat tail combs. I love these for foiling, and especially this one with the tighter teeth is really good for teasing when I'm doing TZ lights. And then I got another wide tooth comb because at the moment I only have the one. And I like this one because the teeth come to a bit of a sharper point. And then I got a new curling iron for the salon because I had a Hot Tools one that I've had for years now. It's past the warranty period, unfortunately. And I've noticed like the last few months or so it just doesn't seem to stay hot it's just been dying I decided to try this one out I love Babyliss Pro so yeah that was all stuff for work I'm gonna actually put this back in the bag because I'm going to the salon tomorrow so bring that all with me then and then I got a package you guys are gonna think that I'm nuts and that's totally fine so tell me if you remember when I bought this bougie, expensive laundry detergent almost two years ago now. And I was like, this is probably the dumbest purchase I've ever made. It's so expensive just for laundry detergent. It's so stupid. So it lasted me quite a long time, like at least a year probably. And when it finished, I was like, okay, I had just got it to try it because it was like, trending at the time and i was just interested to see like what's the hype about what does it smell like so finished it and i was like yeah that's insanely expensive like i'm not gonna continue buying it i went into my drawer and i pulled out a tank top this was a few weeks ago that i apparently hadn't worn since i last washed it with this detergent which like i said i mean this finished a long time ago when i tell you that tank top smelled so good and immediately I was just like this is intoxicating like the fact that it smells so good and it's been sitting in the drawer for months and months and months and months and months and it still smells amazing and then throughout the day as I was wearing it like I just kept getting whiffs of it and I was like I need to get that detergent again so they had a little bit of a sale for Black Friday so I ordered some more and I'm gonna use it very sparingly because you really only need a little bit and I'm gonna only use it 
on my clothes, not like towels and that kind of stuff, because I feel like that's just pointless. So if you don't know what this is, it's from the brand Tyler Candle Company, their glamorous wash in the scent Diva. And they do have this on Amazon, but I've seen mixed reviews and a lot of people were saying that the one on Amazon is like watered down, it's not as good. So if you're gonna order it, just order it directly from the Tyler Candle Company website. So I got that and then they had a bunch of stuff on sale. So I was like, let me just get a bunch of products from them. Why not? And I'm pretty sure it's just like a small company out of like Utah or something. So I'm like, I'm happy to support a small business, you know? So then they had this little gift set, which I got in a different scent. This is the Kathina scent. And it comes with this adorable little baby detergent, a little candle, and a, a room spray. And then I got a few candles as well. This one is in the scent Wish List. Mmm. And then this one is in high maintenance. Ooh, that smells really good. And then I also got a bunch of car fresheners. And these are in that, are they all the same? Yeah, these are all in the Diva scent, which is the same as the detergent that I love. And this is perfect timing because I need to clean my car really badly and I especially wanna do it before I drive up to Pennsylvania because you know it's a long car ride and it'd be nice to have a clean car and I need to make space. I have a lot of empty boxes so I need to bring those because I've been saving boxes. This too actually is a good size box. I'm going to save that. Um, I'm saving boxes for my move so yeah I have a bunch that are in my car so I need to bring those up because I obviously need space. So now that I have these I'm like ooh it's like extra motivation to clean my car. Oh, and you get a car freshener in this little gift box too, in that Kathina scent. Welcome to my car. So, I got my hand vac, we got some all-purpose cleaner, some window glass cleaner, paper towels, a uh, Swiffer duster, and yeah. It's not too terrible in here, it just could use some dusting and vacuuming. And the back seat is probably the worst because that's where my dog always goes. And I have a seat cover, it's like a bench cover thing that my mom got for him, which is great for protecting the seats, but that thing is filthy. So I'm going to take that out, dust it off, and vacuum as best I can and I mean it doesn't need to be perfect I just want it to be clean I also have a lot of sand on the floor uh from the beach obviously and I'm like mm, summer's over can't even I don't even remember the last time I went to the beach so it's it's time
So I always keep a bag in here for garbage, but the way that this car is, I used to in my old car just like hang it over the gear shift, but I can't in this car because of the way it's laid out. So I have these little like command hooks. So I'm gonna try to stick, it's a little bit textured over here, so I don't know how well it'll hold, but I'm gonna try to stick this on the side here so that way it can like hang on the side. So let's try that and see. I think if I put it like right there, that should be good. I mean, it's still gonna be sitting on the floor, but at least that way it's like hooked on there and it kind of gives it something to hold on to. I put up the new air freshener. It smells amazing. So yeah, my car is a 2023 Honda Civic hatchback. So the middle console area looks like this. I have some Bath and Body Works hand sanitizer spray. I also have a Bath and Body Works mini body mist. Luminous smells so good. That Victoria's Secret Tees Cream Cloud body spray some chapstick, and some gum. Those are like the quick accessible things. And then in this middle console, I have a bag of quarters in case I ever need that for parking. I have my camera mount for the windshield. And then I have some random stuff all the way down there. Oh, another air freshener. I'm going to bring that inside actually. These are the Febreze small spaces. I actually like to put these in my closet too, but they're also good car fresheners. A pen, pencil, old iPod, the charger for it. One of these chargers for like regular USB, but I keep this bag. This is like my emergency goodies. So I have a little thing of tissues. I have floss, a sunglass case with microfiber cloth. I have a few hair ties, a clip, mini deodorant, hand lotion, sunscreen, a little face razor, and my Nivea cream for my face. So that's good if like, I just ever, you know, need that kind of stuff, need to freshen up if I like don't have time to stop at home first or if I'm spending the night somewhere and I didn't bring like an overnight bag. I just have like some little essential things. Highly recommend doing that. And then I have some wipes in my side pocket, antibacterial hand wipes and then car interior wipes. What else? I have a lint roller and then this is the screen for my car it does have like apple play and all that so i can connect my phone through here oh this is another cool thing so i got this on amazon it clips onto your visor sorry i know the lighting in here is weird let me uh that didn't help at all but it's just a little thing to hook your sunglasses because one of my old cars used to have like a little pocket compartment to hold sunglasses. This one doesn't have it, and I always like to keep sunglasses in the car, so that is very handy, and it's magnetic. It came in a bunch of different colors, but I got black so that it would just blend in. But I love having a hatchback, because the seats go down, and then it's super, super spacious in the back, and that's what I like. I like having a smaller car, because it's easier to like get around and park, but I also like being able to have a lot of room inside of it. I'll show you what it looks like on the outside too. Just a little while later, I've been editing this vlog that you're currently watching and it's like almost six o'clock now. And I was going to clean my makeup brushes, but I am just feeling really tired and I just, kind of want to get this vlog done because it needs to go up tomorrow so i'm going to save the makeup brush cleaning for another day i'm so happy that i cleaned my car though that was one of those things that i 
had been meaning to do for weeks now. But let's do some questions of the day before we wrap this up. At the end of each Vlogmas vlog, I am answering questions that you guys leave me in the comments of the previous vlog. So if you have any questions that you want me to feature and answer in the next vlog in two days from now, leave them down in the comments. I have two kind of similar questions. How much do you pay your coworker for doing services on you? And then somebody else asked, do you charge your friends when doing their hair? So in the past at previous salons that I've worked at, we were able to just do services on each other like totally for free whenever we wanted and had time, which was fine, but oftentimes, you know, you'd be doing it either on your day off or like at the end of the day after you've been working all day and you're exhausted. And I would always like feel bad asking my coworkers to do stuff for me. But the salon that I'm at now, she gives us two different options. So we can either do the service for free as a trade, especially cause like it's a full service salon and spa. So we have a massage therapist, we have nail techs, we have estheticians. So like the massage therapist will trade a lot. Like I'll do her hair for her, she'll give me massages. So we can do a trade. I don't pay for the massage, she doesn't pay for her hair, and then we just have to pay the product fee, depending on like what service we're getting. Or if we're not doing a trade, we get a discount. So basically the technician doing the service still gets paid their full regular commissioned amount, and the cost of the product is still getting covered, but the salon is not making any money off the service. So we're paying a discounted price, but the person doing the service is still getting paid their full normal amount, which I think is great because then you're still getting like regular treatment and we're able to schedule the services like during the day and you don't have to feel bad like, oh, well now this person's doing me a favor or they're staying late for me or squeezing me in or whatever. Like, no, it's getting booked as a regular client, a regular appointment. And I really like how she does that. And then as far as charging friends, I always say if you have a friend that's asking you to do services on them for free and they, or like they're expecting you to not charge or they don't offer to pay you, they're not really your friend. Immediate family, yes, I'm gonna give them free services. Obviously, I'm not gonna charge my mom for a haircut, but my friends pay me. They book their appointments like regular clients because this is your career and how you make a living. Like you're not just doing it for fun. And usually like say they're getting color and I'm also giving them a haircut. I usually won't charge them for like every little thing. If I'm doing a little trim, I'm probably just gonna like do that. I'm not gonna include it and charge them for that. What are three things you would take to a deserted island? Any favorite makeup products you couldn't live without? If I was going to be stuck on a deserted island, I don't think I'd be caring about like makeup and beauty products. I'd be like, um, I want a plane, I want a pilot, you know, like I need survival things or like ways to get the hell off the island. But just like my top three favorite, like can't live without makeup beauty products. I would say 100% like an SPF moisturizer, under eye concealer. I really have been loving the Tarte Shape Tape Radiant. And then probably, I guess like a good lip balm. Cause I can't stand when my lips are dry and chapped. So some kind of, like the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask is my favorite and has been for years. So probably that. All right, that is gonna be it for this vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, don't forget, leave your questions in the comments because I love doing this. It makes it so fun and like more interactive. So leave your questions. Don't forget to check the description for my link to dossier and I will see you tomorrow with a new hair video and in two days with a new vlog. Bye.